So I got a request from Robert to, um, he asked if I could teach how to play Lazy John. Now, um, I've never played Lazy John before, and um, I usually don't teach songs on here. Uh, as a lot of folks do great folk song of the week kind of pro uh, approach, and I probably should do more, but, but here's the thing is, um, there's a couple ways to go about learning songs. There's a lot of folks will go and say, I want the tabs and they'll spend months or you know maybe not months but they'll spend a while just kind of working through the tabs and trying to build it up and get it just perfect and, and I think with a lot of these folk songs um, I don't think it's supposed to be perfect um, all you have to do is go online and you, you search the chords for these songs and you realize they're not all the same and that's part of the folk tradition is you've got people handing down the song from one guy to another or maybe you go to a jam session and you kind of hear the chords and you think you got the chords but it's not quite right but you learn it anyway and then you hand it down and the song kind of evolves well um just for the fun of it i thought i'd take that challenge and uh and, and learn this song and I, uh, I went on to youtube and to listen to the song, see how other people are playing it. And one of the first ones that pop up, you'll probably see it, is um, Chance McCoy and the Appalachian Band's version of the song. Now, the, the words are a little different than if you just Google um, Lazy John lyrics. Uh, you're going to get maybe, a, some sometimes you get one with just two verses, maybe you get one with five verses. And that really underscores the point that these songs are... Um, kind of living things. Now I'm going to do a version of this song and I'm going to make my mistakes and that'll kind of feed into this whole life of the song and the song is a living thing. That's what I love the most about folk tradition. So um, what I'll do instead is I'll tell you uh, I've been playing this song for about 10 minutes now and um, I think that's a good point to start recording and, and, and share with you my process for learning a song. Um, so the first thing I did is I went to YouTube, I found Chance McCoy and the Appalachian Band's version of the song, which is pretty cool. Uh, I kind of like this song. Um, it's a simple song too, it's a three chord song, it's a perfect banjo song. Um, and But I liked his, wor the words seemed to roll off the tongue a little better. I liked his words better than what I was seeing on the PDFs I was downloading. So what I did was I listened to the YouTube video and I paused it, I would, I would hear him I would hear him sing a line of the song, and then I'd write it down. And so I just kind of wrote it down. And that's part of the memorization process. Now, you, maybe you're thinking it's kind of weird. I'm, I'm focusing on the lyrics first before I think about the chords or the, or the melody. Well, I think it's important, you know, the, the lyrics kind of drive the melody uh, for a lot of these old folk songs. So I think it's important to focus on the lyrics first. And then, um, and then when you when you get that far, then you, you start trying to listen for the chords. Now I also Googled Lazy John chords, and I got a dozen dozen different variations. So what I did was I found something kind of close to the video I was listening to, and I kind of used my ear to hear out the chord. You know, in, in one version online, the chord sound you know seemed like it was going C, then D. D then G for the chorus, but if you listen to the if you listen to the um, Charles, uh, Chance McCoy's version, it sounds like it goes from the C to the G to the D then G, and that just not only did it sound nicer, but it's easier to play, so it kind of just feels more natural to me. So. You know, the, ne the next thing I did was then I started to work through the, um, the chords. I just kind of, um, so I'm going to read off of these chords, that are, these lyrics that I wrote down. And um, here I, I suppose I'll, if you want to pause the screen and, and see what I came up with. I, I recommend you listen to the song and try to figure out the words yourself. You might get... You might evolve the song a little bit yourself with your version of it. So, so uh, the next thing I did was I kind of went through, and you notice I put a chord over the word where I think the beat is. So, like in this case, uh, it goes, you know, I've got a gal, she lives down the road, her eyes are crooked and her legs are bowed. So, 
that that helps me when I'm looking at this I can kind of know when to change the cord so then the next thing I'll do is I'll take and I'll just play I'll just strum the chords without actually doing the noodley bits I won't won't even do the frailing strum I'll just strum now uh, real quick here the chords that are in this song are pretty much just D G D G D G D G and that's the verse and there's uh, the version I'm doing there's going to be three di uh, different verses but then the chorus goes C G D G C G D G and you can play the chords any way you want you could do the D7 shape chord if you want or you can play the D up here or you can play the G up here or whatever it doesn't matter what matters is just kind of get something you feel comfortable with and just kind of so I'll start by strumming and I'll and I'll, I'll kind of do a couple verses like this so I've got a gal she lives down the road her eyes are crooked and her legs are bowed but she sure is a lot of fun why don't you get away lazy John lazy John lazy John why don't you get your day's work all done I'm in the shade and you're in the sun why don't you get away lazy John now as you can tell I don't, I don't have the the singing voice for it just yet because it's not I don't have the muscle memory down but if you do this about 50 times it it becomes a reflex and, and it's just gonna you're gonna know just how much oomph to give those notes and you notice at that point I'm just just strumming and, and you know what that could be good enough for you right so do the second verse I'm gonna dance on a Saturday night we're gonna dance till the brand new light Ten. <laughs> then I'll take my sweetie back home why don't you get away lazy John lazy John lazy John why don't you get your day's work all done I'm in the shade and you're in the sun why don't you get away lazy John and after I've done that for a while you know the most important part of a song is the beat and maybe you've you've started and you're just all you know is the basic frailing strum and that's gonna be perfect for this song and just kinda get the beat in fact I'm not even gonna strum the chords I'm just gonna keep it muted <clears throat> I've got a gal she lives down the road her eyes are crooked and her legs are bowed but she sure is a lot of fun why don't you get away lazy John lazy John lazy John why don't you get your day's work all done I'm in the shade and you're in the sun why don't you get away lazy John and then you put it together right but I think that get that rhythm down find a rhythm that's gonna work for the song so get around that, that C so at that point I'm switching to the C right for the chorus now if you're trying to figure out which of these strings should I strike first I, I suggest hit a string that is unique to the chord so for example you've got that C if you're doing the C shape see where my pointer finger is on the second string first fret when I do a C shape I like to strike that string first because it sort of establishes that the song the chorus is going to go to C so it's um now at this point I'm not singing I'm just strumming and I'm, I'm hitting different strings and I'm just kind of guessing on the, the pull-offs just to kind of to get the melody to give it a little little bounce 
it doesn't really matter what string you hit but if you experiment with which of the strings you might start to actually get the melody just out of the strings by itself so it's You'll notice I'm not doing a whole lot of drop thumb or, or anything. I'm just playing off of the chords and you can kind of recognize the song just off of the strings that I'm hitting. So then you put it all together. So it's... I've got a gal, she lives down the road. Her eyes are crooked and her legs are bowed. But she sure is a lot of fun. Why don't you get away, Lazy John? Lazy John. John, why don't you get your day's work all done? I'm in the shade and you're in the sun. Why don't you get away, lazy John? I'm gonna dance on a Saturday night. We're gonna dance till the broad daylight. Then I'll take my sweetie back home Why don't you get away, Lazy John? Lazy John, Lazy John Why don't you get your day's work all done? I'm in the shade and you're in the sun Why don't you get away, Lazy John? I woke up at the break of day Down to the field, try to earn my pay Then on later you came along Why don't you get away, Lazy John? Lazy John, Lazy John Why don't you get your day's work all done? I'm in the shade and you're in the sun Why don't you get away, Lazy John? Now when you're learning, of course, just play through those mistakes you know don't go oh I screwed up and and stop just keep playing through because you're gonna play the song a few dozen more times anyway and you want to get to the end so now one thing you'll notice I, I kind of broke away from the basic frailing strum I just did a little bit of drop thumb so if you're one of those players that preferred kind of a drop thumb technique find a rhythm that works for you Lazy John, Lazy John, why don't you get your day's work all done? I'm in the shade and you're in the sun, why don't you get away, Lazy John? Now I'm going to play this about a dozen more times and then I'm going to upload a different video um, that's just this song. And you can hopefully see, uh, if you want to see improvement of what a little bit of practice will do. But what I'm trying to really emphasize here is that um, with all these folk songs, you don't have to do a whole lot of work to, to get it. Just go online, it, you know, someone probably wrote the lyrics down, or even better, just listen to someone performing it on YouTube and, and, and write it down. The writing it down is the best way to, to memorize, um, because you get that, that physical memory, and then you're seeing it memory, and then you sing it and you hear it in the playing. So you have all, that's three different ways that you're memorizing the song. But, he, but listening to another musician play it over and over again as you're writing it down, it also helps program the melody. Um, again, I, I never heard this song before, an hour before I did this video, and, and definitely um, didn't hear this version of it until like 10 minutes before I did the video. So um, a lot of these folk songs, they're very similar, so it's easy to learn them. It's not like uh, learning a classical music piece, but that's why we play folk music, because it's just fun. So. Hope you have fun. All right, thanks.